Hey what's up guys my name is Anshul and welcome back to another video on this channel today in this video let us compare the best android phones that we have in the market right now i call it the battle of the android gods yes i'm talking about the google pixel 8 pro versus the samsung galaxy s23 ultra and let this review be in terms of five pillars of perfect smartphone as said by your favorite youtuber marcus brownlee now the pillars are the build quality the display the cameras the performance and the battery life or actually let us do it in our own way by comparing the ai features on the smartphones as well because in this day and time i think that a lot of smartphones are coming with a lot of new innovative ai features and this is something that i would say is the sixth pillar of the smartphone industry in this day and time so without wasting any time let's dive further into this video let us talk about the build quality on both of these smartphones and as much as i can say that both of these smartphones are the best of the android worlds i would give a slight edge to the samsung galaxy s23 ultra and let me explain it why well as we already know that when we include a pro name in a smartphone that means the smartphone is tend to be a bit larger than what we have in comparison to rest of the smartphones in the market at least it is a general way and it is important that if it is a large smartphone it should be more comfortable in the hand and yes the samsung galaxy s23 ultra is the perfect blend even with its curved front the phone feels just perfect in the hand it weighs about 233 gram which is more weight than the google pixel 8 pro which weighs about 213 grams but i like it more on the samsung galaxy s23 ultra due to its curved back also the Google Pixel 8 Pro might be more prone to the scratches on the camera pump as it has a metallic coating versus the regular coating that we have in the regular Google Pixel 8. So this is something that you might need to keep in your mind. So yes, I would say that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a safer choice in my opinion. Also, this does not mean that the Google Pixel 8 Pro looks ugly. I think that the smartphone looks better than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra especially the color choice is better with the bay blue color and i even like the porcelain color this year also the google pixel 8 pro is now more rounded from all the edges and also it has a matte finish just like the samsung galaxy s23 ultra but here we go the winner over here is the samsung galaxy s23 ultra and not the pixel 8 pro so that was about this department now moving on to the display i can say for the very first time that the google pixel 8 pro has a better display than what we have on a samsung device and this is not something that we see normally because google pixel devices are basically not a spec pump but this is not something that we can say for this year i would say that the google pixel 8 pro is much better in the terms of display quality in comparison to the samsung galaxy s23 ultra this year the super actual display has got a peak brightness of 2400 nits on the google pixel 8 pro which is a lot more than the 1750 nits of peak brightness on the samsung device and also the Google Pixel 8 Pro has got a better HDR performance because again the peak brightness is about 1600 nits while watching the HDR content versus what we have on the Samsung Galaxy device. Well this does not mean that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a poor display but when you compare it against the Google Pixel 8 Pro we have a clear winner over here. Both the displays are AMOLED and have an LTPO technology which can change the refresh rate between 1Hz to 120Hz depending upon the application that you're using at that time. So again, the winner for the second round is the Google Pixel 8 Pro in comparison to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now over onto the third pillar is the cameras on both of these devices and this one over here is quite a difficult one. And the reason over here is because I am not able to test the video boost feature on the Google Pixel 8 Pro and that would be something that I would be able to test in the December update when Google will officially launch this feature on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. But as of what we have as filming this video right now I can say that the Google Pixel 8 Pro is a better phone at shooting still photographs whereas the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a better one while taking the videos. No matter what shot I took on this Google Pixel 8 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Pixel 8 Pro was a clear winner. Be it 
the bright sky or the dark scenes, I love the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Also, if we compare the zoom quality on both of these smartphones, again, the Google Pixel 8 Pro just has got a better processing in my opinion. I am glad that Samsung has 100x versus the 30x maximum zoom on the Google Pixel 8 Pro, but even at 30x when Samsung processes the photograph, it is more cartoony sometimes and this does not mean that these photographs coming out of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra does not have the necessary information but all it means is that the Google Pixel 8 Pro processes the things way much better. At 5x I think the results are almost similar but I like the fact that Pixel can zoom and still maintain bokeh effect while shooting the videos. Samsung's 200 megapixel camera is excellent but the Google Pixel 8 Pro is able to achieve a lot with its 48 megapixel camera and almost every time beating the iPhone 15 Pro Max as well. This is a real upgrade from the Google Pixel 7 Pro in case you are wondering. Also this Google Pixel 8 Pro now has got a new camera application where you can seamlessly switch between the photo and the video mode and you get different settings for each of them. So this was an upgrade that was pending and I'm glad that Google was able to implement the very same in this Google Pixel 8 Pro. So about this category, I would say that there is no clear winner. If you're looking for better photographs on a device, I would say go with the Google Pixel 8 Pro. But if you're looking for better videographs, I would say go with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And in case you wonder, all the videographs that I shoot on this YouTube channel, they come from my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So in case you wonder, yes, this one over here is the exact quality what you would get from the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, over onto the fourth pillar that is the performance on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra versus the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Well, this is a step up for the Google Pixel 8 Pro as it has come a long way with the G3 Tensor chip. But the Samsung device has got more raw power thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset that is specifically made for and tuned for the Galaxy devices. Also, you see those little differences while things like gaming on the smartphone because the G3 Tensor chip I think is not as power efficient. And one thing that I noticed is that this G3 Tensor chip tends to get a little bit more hot than what we have on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now this could come to a better cooling solution and more efficient processor on the Samsung device. I do not play a lot of games on my phones but I test it for making these videos. Otherwise for day to day tasks, multimedia consumption, opening and closing tasks, both of the smartphones are pretty much good. But the real winner over here is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with its more efficient cooling solution and a better processor that is more tuned for the Galaxy devices. Now on to the fifth metric that I want to discuss about in this video is the battery life. And as far as my testing, I can say that this Google Pixel 8 Pro is performing really well against the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And yes, the G3 is more efficient and the battery life is about one day. But if I compare it against the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is just amazing, it is very hard to kill that smartphone. And even sometimes I get battery life that is more than one day. And that is with my mixed usage plus. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra charges faster at 45 watt versus the 30 watt charging that we have on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel has got a larger 5050mAh battery that is 50mAh more but the processor is a deciding factor here and it seems like even though that the G3 Tensor chip is a good one but it is not as optimized and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a clear pinner in the battery department. Now over onto the sixth pillar and something that really matters to me is the AI on both of these smartphones. Now I can say one thing, both of these smartphones have got an equally impressive AI built in. But no matter how hard Samsung pushes it, I think that Google is better at innovating software and it clearly shows whatever we have the AI features on the Google Pixel 8 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I mean, Samsung has features like smart call for filtering spam calls, but the call screen feature on the Google Pixel 8 Pro for Google Assistant works better in detecting and filtering out even more spam calls. Samsung has got the Bixby text call feature, but it seems like the other person is talking to a robot, whereas on Google, it mimics more of a human subject. Samsung has got features like object 
perfect eraser to erase the subjects but it does not work perfectly in recreating the scenes. The Magic Editor does things better on the Google Pixel 8 Pro as now you can erase the subject or move it from X to Y position or even change the backgrounds on the photographs as you go. Samsung does not have voice magic eraser to remove background voice from your videos and Pixel has some extra features like twist to change the cameras better and even faster voice typing for the most accurate voice typing experience, crash detection and a real temperature sensor on the smartphone. Also now the Google Pixel 8 Pro has got a new feature that they call as summarize feature and with this feature what you can do is that you can generate a summary of a web page so you can quickly understand the key points and your pixel can even read aloud and translate web pages for you so you can listen to the articles as you go. Well, the Google Pixel 8 Pro is a clear winner in the terms of the sixth pillar that is AI on the smartphone. But the question is that who is the overall winner? Should you buy the Google Pixel 8 Pro or the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra as both of these smartphones have scored equal points? The verdict is that neither one of them is a bad smartphone and it just depends on what is the smartphone that you are looking to purchase in the year 2023. If you're looking for the features like a better camera for still photography or AI features built in a smartphone, I would say you should go with the Google Pixel 8 Pro. But if you care about raw power, gaming and video recording, I think that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is a better choice. So well, yes, that was all about this video. I think that this video was helpful for you in making a buying decision. That is me, Anshul. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.